Hello guys, welcome back, episode 2, Worcester City, and we played our first game guys, we played, well, we haven't, because I recorded this before, <laughs> because I don't want to record the game, because I'm not too sure if it's actually going to work, so you're getting the highlights, but this is the team we're setting up with, same formation as we've already seen, same instructions, tack and flexible. And, you know, we've had an absolutely shit pre-season. See that? This, I don't see a score more than one goal ever. That's that's depressing. Um, the formation might have to change, to be honest with you. I mean, look at that, they went, they went 20 minutes against 10 men and still could not do a fucking thing. Do you know what I mean? We score? Oh, he's got second. Hereford was scored second. Hereford aren't even in a league. I mean, they're a big club, but they're not even in a league. <coughs> um. So things I take you through are the transfers, which, as you can see, we've had that rejected. He was a player at Leeds, and we've got Liam Thompson coming hopefully. Who do you know? He's he's I think he's 30, 20, 20, 40, I'm the wrong person. 23. He's alright, he's got alright car stats for this league. Four and a half star. And he is from Blackpool originally, but he's been all over the place. He's a 23 year old, so I thought he was so old. He's been everywhere. Scotland, been at the Championship, the Van Robin North, National, Prem for a bit there. He didn't play, but he'll he still count it. Um, right, transfer history. So the players we brought in, we've got Joey Johnson, who's 20 years old, I think he's from Bolton, he's from Wigan, wait what, no, he's not, I'm confused, because I thought he was from Bolton, oh well, anyway, so as you can see, he's dribbling 11, finishing only 10, but he just got quite a lot of goals the last few times I've used him. First touch at 11, and then his pace is 12, and that will fit 15, acceleration, agility. He does tend to, he hangs on the back of the, the last defender and then just takes off, and people really do struggle to keep up with him. You've got defender centre in Brad Smith, who, oh, for some reason he's not. We'll just there. Uh, Not bad. <laughs> You got this guy marking thirteen, decisions thirteen, and acceleration thirteen. So the reason he appealed to me so much was basically because of this one here. So I mean, obviously I'm going to use Joey Johnson to hang on the back of the defender and take off, and I'm hoping someone like this can keep up. But with another, like, obviously not Joey, but someone else. Um, Hugh Johnson, who plays all on the diamond, so that's quite handy if I need to change. He probably the only one to be changed to is that one, which is not his best, but you know he'll do just if you're trying to close a game out. Um, that he is from originally Brentford. He's only 23. He's been around since 2009, so he's there. He's already had a big stint because he's only 23. But he'll probably be playing in the middle for the majority, dropping back if he has to. Brought in this guy, Sean Phillips, who. I didn't really need, but I thought, you know, it adds a bit more depth. I mean, we only have two strikers, hence why I signed Joey. But, you know, I think it's enough for now. I mean, we haven't really affected the... we got £535 per week remaining. So this is always the option to bring in other people. You know, see, I've just sent the, the um, scouters out to try and get as much as I can. But to be honest with you, Adam Drury. He's got some potential. Um so yeah, as you can see, we've got Harrogate in the game, but I don't really see me buy anyone else. There's no real need to at, at this present moment in time. 
and they're looking pretty good now all around. Might have to get another right and left attack in mid. But you know, that does me for now. Um so yeah, what we'll do is we'll go to the game next. So I will see you in a short while. Welcome to the highlights guys. So game started, we played really poorly in this game. As you can see, just pass it through us. There's Pittman with the goal. It's not one you want to kind of concede. But then we come back with a penalty. Top right card, a lovely finish by Ebby Nelson Addy, who misses a penalty in this game as well, which is a bit upsetting. I haven't got that highlight on here. But then comes to their goal, close the game up, and John Paul Pittman again, who is someone that I did say to pick up, but they haven't bothered. So, not the best of stats, but Harrogate are okay. So, I mean, the, the manager's been here seven years, so he obviously knows his team well. He's built the squad. That was first competitive game. Only upwards from here, guys. So that is the game. Um, let's go back to the main screen. So that was it, guys. A 2-1 loss. Not the not the worst of games, not the best of games. I'd love to get off a win start, but, you know, I'd rather sacrifice that, start steady, build upon stuff, and see if we can make a goal of it and hopefully maybe sneak in the playoffs. I mean, it's a long, long shot, but, you know, anything is possible if you try your hardest, I guess, but... Might be looking for a new job come December. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. If you like, if you liked what you watched, like, subscribe. If you have anything I can improve on, comment down below. I will be reading them. And thanks for watching. See you all later.